What's up everybody? It's your boy JP, back again with another video, and today, that's right, you already see it, you already know what time it is, that's right baby, I got it, Asus ROG Phone 5 baby, and um, man, oh man, this is the best, I was fixing to say quite possibly, but no, negative, scratch that, this is the best gaming phone right now that money can buy, Besides, maybe, possibly, and I will say possibly now, the Red Magic 6. Y'all know I'm a big Red Magic fan. I support I support Red Magic. I really do. Um, I've also I've also been supportive of Asus. They, they 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 definitely make they you know you know one day I'll tell you Asus does it best, and the other day I'll tell you that Red Magic does it best. And of course, you know that's um, it just it just it, it it they. They both do. They both do different things. Great. Um, that's what I've noticed through these past few years. Um, your other gaming phones, like uh, like your your Black Sharks, they just they just don't they don't bring to the table. And and, and there's a couple of other gaming phones too, like um, you know from um, uh, God like uh, Lenovo. Um, you know if you're looking for you know a gaming phone with a massive amount of accessories. Asus is 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 where you want to go to the Rock Phone series. That's what you want. Um, their available accessories are just unparalleled. They have more than just a clip-on fan like what everyone else has. Um, you know, they don't even have just a little controller attachment. They have you know dual screen attachments. They have you know TV docks. I mean, they just have you know all kinds of different accessories for their gaming phones. They just go all in with it. I mean, you can you know. I mean, you can virtually just have any kind of attachment that you want with this thing. You know, uh, the docks have Ethernet, um, you know, um, ports, you know, for wired Internet, you know, which, you know, faster than your wireless, you know, whatnot, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, let's uh, let's jump right into it. We're, you know, we're going to we're going to get right into this really fast here. Um, of course, Snapdragon 888. Um this is the uh, the 12 gig variant. Um, this is not the pro. It's not the ultimate. A lot of people are mistaking the. Uh, a lot of people are coming out saying, "Yo, the Red Magic or not Red Magic, the Rock Phone Five is you know is a thousand bucks plus, et cetera, et cetera." No, it's not. Um, I got this from Giztop for seven fifty, phenomenal price, and they have since then gone down on that price. I mean, I think they sell it now for like. Either six ninety nine or six four. No, I know it's not six forty nine. It might be. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it might be. I'll be a little salty if it is. But um, but nonetheless, um, I don't have everything just fully set up on it yet. There, but um, uh, but this, you know, again, I got from Giz Top. Um, the shipping is is, is kind of funky right now. Uh, their Express isn't DHL right now like it used to be. It's it's the postal, you know, United States Postal Service, and it's just taking forever for me to get certain products from them in. I had that same problem with the Motorola Edge S, but it is what it is. Otherwise, I would have had this phone to you a lot sooner, like a week ago. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, 256 gigs of storage. I think I have here. Nah, I didn't even check the box here. Um, give me a second here, y'all. I, uh, <laughs> I should already know here. No, no, correction, y'all. Um, 128 gigs internal. Um, but of course, of course, I know they have, uh, this is the garbage man outside, y'all. If you hear that sound outside, don't, don't mind that there. I'm gonna try to speak above it. If I had known they were coming this late, I wouldn't have even started this video yet at all. Um, I was supposed to be here yesterday. But, nonetheless, um, it does have your, uh, your quad camera. Or, or uh, not not quad camera, but your triple camera setup in the back here. From my understanding, it's the same as last year's. It's the same as the Rock Phone as, as what the Rock Phone Three had. They skipped the four because of uh, Chinese superstition, but uh, not everybody does that because your fourth generation Black Shark came out as the Black Shark Four, which was announced after this phone. <laughs> you know, so so you know, not everybody follows that that superstition. You know, again, but but Aces did. Uh, Red Magic did it as well. You know, they went from the Red Magic 3 to the Red Magic 5. And because 5G was just becoming a thing, they were able to conveniently call it the Red Magic 5G. Um, you know, I think I even said that in the video I did this time last year for that phone. Um, but, 
let me put this box back in the shot here because this box is really cool it has a lot of cool stuff here uh, kind of give you a good look at the box there see how shiny it is there it's all the logo for the the, the rock phone logo is all pixelated which is really cool so is the little insert right there that uh that you know for those who dare of course that includes that case um the reading material the stickers the charger um and this is a um if i'm not mistaken it's a um what is it like a like a 60 watt charger or something like that um um and the the battery setup on the phone is really cool too. It's a six thousand milliamp, but they have two they have two three thousand milliamp batteries in the phone separated to make the charging even faster. Uh, you know to get you know to make it even more efficient. Um, this is the little cover right here that kind of goes up. It, it's it's in case you mess up the cover that's already on here right here. That's uh that those are ports for the accessories that I talked about at the beginning of the video here. You see your antenna lines there. Um, you got your power button, your, uh, your volume rocker. You got your air triggers here. Um, right there. Um, it does have the, uh, the E4 Super AMOLED screen, uh, that features 1500, uh, nits of brightness. Now, rather not, they actually allow it to get up that high. You know, they might have it, they might have that, uh, set differently in the settings, but the hardware is capable of 1500 nits, but it's up to the manufacturer to actually enable it or let it get that high. Um, but it is a six point, uh, it, it's bigger. It's, it's, it's a, um, it's a six point, it's a 6.7 or 6.8 inch. You'll notice that they are, you know, a big talk about this phone from a couple months ago was that Asus was going to do away with their with the design all together and 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 come out with something more modern um so a lot of people kind of thought that they were going to do basically what black shark ended up doing with their fourth generation that that was just announced last week um uh, they were just going going to go with a modern design with uh with an all screen in the punch hole you know in the you know in the screen either either offset to the side or in the middle um you know and 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 the reason why your gaming phones haven't had the latest design in terms of all screen is because it's a gaming phone. So their 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 thought process is that you know your your palms need somewhere to rest, so they still include the bezels top and bottom for that reason. Uh, you know, because it's a gaming phone. You know, so you know when it's all screen, you know it it, it they say it makes it harder to game. Which, I mean, you know, I am an avid mobile gamer. I am. So I'm definitely the perfect kind of person to review phones like this. Whereas the other reviewers that get these phones, they'll tell you, yo, I'm not a big gamer, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not a big home gamer, but mobile gamer, I am. Have been for years and years and years. Uh, you know, because I'm just never home to enjoy the home consoles, but I'm always on the go and I do love my games on the go. Uh, I do have Xbox uh, Ultimate Game Pass, for example. You know, the thought of having... Triple A games in the palm of my hand just excited me, and and I was just blown away. Um, but um, um, so the that that's why their phone, that's why gaming phones. You know, when you when you buy a gaming phone, you know it's a gaming phone. So you don't, you know, you you know what you're buying. So you don't expect the latest, um, the the most the most up to date physical body design you know uh in terms of screen real estate like this this because the thing of it is a screen you want a big screen for your gaming phone so they give you that but they leave the bezels to give your hands your palms a place to rest just like you're you know playing a nintendo switch for example or any other kind of handheld game where it's where it's played in landscape mode um and of course you know the switch isn't, isn't the best example because you can't play without the physical controls whereas you know most phone games are you know used with you know with 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 touch controls um you know because talking about controller attachments that's that that's for another subject for another video you know but um but that's you know that's the history of gaming phones and why they leave the bezels there why they were in no rush to change that design to follow the status quo and and, and the modern designs of other phones because even when you buy a phone that has the same processor, like the Galaxy S21, for example, not everybody that not everybody buys that to game on. See, you know, just to kind of give you an idea there. But um, Asus didn't actually go all radical like everyone kind of thought they were by that statement they made a few months back, either back in December or January. 
Um, Because at that point, we knew we were getting the Rock Phone 5 much sooner than when they normally release their Rock series, Um, which I'm fine with. Um, I love it. Uh, it, you know, it's, it definitely makes for better competition because this is the time of year when Red Magic and Black Sharks come out and then Aces comes out way later, which wasn't always a bad thing either because they always utilized the, uh, the plus variants of the flagship Snapdragon processors. Uh, you know, so, and, and, and around that time, Red Magic would also still release another phone utilizing the plus processors. Um, you know, uh, Black Shark, I actually think did do that last year with the Black Shark 3S, if I'm not mistaken, um, after already releasing the 3 and the 3 Pro earlier in the year. Uh, but that, that's not something that they always did. Uh, Razer didn't do that, uh, Razer didn't do that either when they were making gaming phones. Uh, you know, sad to, sad to see that they're not anymore, but, you know, maybe they'll change their mind because they never actually said that they're not. They just... They've just been absent from the game for a little while. Motorola did the same thing from the flagships and, and then, you know, and then, you know, came out with, you know, this time last year with the, with the, uh, the Edge, the Motorola Edge plus 5G, you know, exclusively on Verizon originally. And it was their first flagship in a few years, you know, had the Snapdragon 865, you know, you, you know, the gist of it, but, um, um, Asus and, 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 and Nubia have obviously been successful, um, Red Magic offers different experiences. They, um, you know, they are the ones that always include like the built-in fans. The they they're always the first to introduce new higher refresh rates. Um, but you know, I forgot what red what Rock Phone it was that was behind Red Magic on a on a screen refresh rate. But somebody found a way, found that hidden in the settings with a little hack, they were able to actually. Actually, uh, there was a setting hidden to enable a higher unadvertised refresh rate that matched the Red Magics. I forgot if that was Rock Phone 3, maybe the 2. I don't quite remember when that was. Um, because there was also a Xiaomi phone that had a setting like that too. When everybody was going all in on 90 hertz displays. And they had a phone that was still stuck at 60. But somebody found a setting and they were able to get it up to 75 hertz. There, there was a way to do 90 as well, but the phone didn't run very well. But when they left it at 75 hertz, it ran fantastic. It ran just like it did at 60. You know, no, no harm whatsoever to the phone, no overheating, whatnot. Uh, barely impacted the battery life, if I remember. And that was a that was a couple years back on that on that Xiaomi phone, and that wasn't a gaming phone. But um, you know, the uh the the uh the uh the Red Magic, sorry for the stutter in there, y'all. The Red Magic 6 is supposed to come out with a 165 hertz screen. Um, and it's, uh, I think it's going to have a bigger screen as well. It's going to thin out the bezels as, as Asus has done here. Again, they didn't go all radical on the design like a lot of people thought they were. Black Shark ended up doing that because the Black Shark 4 looks like the rest of Xiaomi's products that they've released this year like the uh i mean even the even pogo it looks like the pogo f3 it looks you know same size screen 6.67 inches uh you know it looks like a mi 11 looks like uh you know looks like what else the uh the redmi k40 and, and you know k40 pro it uh it looks like that same screen you know same size same punch hole ultra small uh that's that's what it you know uh, that's what, you know, the Black Shark 4 doesn't really look like a gaming phone until you turn it on the back and you see the gaming aesthetics of it. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I, I respect it. I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, not hating on it whatsoever because I, I like that design too. But I also understood why gaming phones didn't take on that, that modern design to begin with. And, uh, I think that Aces honestly did it perfectly. They are giving you a bigger screen. The real estate, they're, they're giving you more real estate as well uh, because they have thinned down the bezels. This phone isn't, I don't have a Rock Phone 3 to, to put this, you know, next next to, but it doesn't appear to be any larger than the Rock Phone 3 that I had, uh, la, uh, you know, last year and when it come out in August or September. And yet you get a bigger screen here. And that's because the bezels have been, like I, like I keep saying, have been completely thinned out. Uh, especially like you look here in the top, the, um, the camera, the, uh, the front facing camera is just, is just 
Like, I mean, it, it's barely even noticeable. <laughs> I mean, it, it's uh, there's not much space top and bottom from it. So, Asus did a fantastic job offering a bigger screen. The latest AMOLED at that, the E4 that everyone keeps talking about. Um, but they give you more screen uh, with the same physical uh, size as the previous generations. Uh, you know, it's, um, I mean, it's it, it's still a big phone. It's still a thick phone. It's still a heavy phone. Uh, and, and, and by no means is that heavy bad because it's a very solid feeling heavy. Uh, like it's not going anywhere. Um, you know, and, and you just, you just, you, you get less bezels, more screen. I know I keep saying that, but, uh, you know, they did change the design. The back is absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's your area for the, uh, for the RGB lights. Uh, if y'all want to see how cool those freaking look, check out Flossy Carter's video on this phone because he goes through the process of turning the lights off and really letting you see it. Keeping my lights on and trying to show it to you isn't going to really do it as much justice as his video does. I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. And there's a thing to know about this too. And some of the confusion, I'm going to let you see the back of that phone right quick there. Republic of Gaming established 2006. And of course, the 05 there signifies the Rock Phone 5, Tencent Games. Um, Tencent Games kind of went all in this time. Uh, you know, they had a Tencent edition of the Rock Phone 2 and the Rock Phone 3, but, um, and, uh, you know, but, but with the Rock Phone 5, Tencent just kind of went all in. And I think they are also in on with the uh, Red Magic 6, if I'm not mistaken, too. So, Tencent doesn't just have an exclusive license with uh, with 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 Asus, or or maybe it's the other way around. Asus doesn't just have an exclusive license with Tencent. I'm not sure which one it is, but because uh, Tencent is 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 again, um, I think I think there's some kind of sponsorship or some kind of um, licensing agreement with Nubia uh, for the Red Magic Six as well. But um, the thousand dollar rock phone that everyone keeps talking about is the is is the pro. And then the ultimate, the pro, and I might have this wrong, so y'all correct me here, because I'm not too sure what the difference is between the pro and the ultimate beyond more storage and more RAM, because you can get one of these with 18 gigs of RAM in the ultimate model. I think the pro goes up to 16, and that may be the difference. I'm not sure. Again, y'all correct me in the comments, but you have a 16 gig variant, and then a whopping 18 gig, which is the highest, because I think... I think the Red Magic 6 does have an uh, 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 an 18 gig variant also, I think, and, and a 16 too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was just going to say otherwise, but I started thinking, at, you know, right before I said it, and actually they, they, they do have a 16 and an 18 gig variant for the Red Magic 6 coming out as well. But of course, those don't officially come out in the U.S. until April 9th. I do, however, have the Red Magic Watch already, and I've had it for a couple of weeks but I was just now able to get it working today. Working, I'm sorry, y'all. I just now was able to get it working today, April 3rd, because the US version of the Red Magic Sports app needed for the watch to work was released because the Chinese APK, they called uh, Red Devil Sports, it wouldn't work because you had to set it up with a Chinese phone number. Whereas the US app, the Red Magic Sport, it doesn't require a phone number, but it's a US app, so if it did, obviously a US number it would work. Uh, so I will be posting a video of that very soon, way before April 9th, when it actually officially comes out in the U.S. as the rest of the Red Magic, the new Red Magic um, products come out. Rather than I get the phone, I'm not sure yet. Um, I am a big fan of theirs as well as Asus, as I keep saying. But the 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 Black Shark, not Black Shark, but the Rock Phone Five Pro, where this new we're, first off. First off, let, let, let's say this. This is an art, this is an all new RGB lighting design. Okay. It's you notice how it's all pixelated, like the box is. Okay. Like that is for those who dare. Okay. It's an all new design. This whole all the little pixels you see in the light. That's why I left the light on. Because all the little pixels that you see, they all light up. It's not just there for design. It lights up. It is sweet looking. It's bad. It's it's the baddest RGB lighting I have seen yet on a gaming phone. Now, the Pro, the $1,000 Pro, takes that up a notch, or maybe even two notches, depending on what you think, because this whole area, well, this little area right here, anyways, where this, where this would be at, is its own AMOLED screen. It's a secondary screen, and it's AMOLED, like the one on the front. It's an AMOLED screen. 
uh, dual screen, in other words, just front and back instead of having a folding out second screen, what have you. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing uncommon. Well, I mean, it is uncommon, but what I mean by that is that, uh, Xiaomi just announced last, this past week, the Mi 11 Ultra, which has its own second screen in the back an, an OLED screen as well. Uh, but it's by the camera lenses and it's so you can, it's so you can take a selfie with the main lenses instead of just relying on the, on the lower res front facing camera, um, but obviously, the screen on this isn't anywhere by the lens. It's, it's, it's where these RGB lights are here. It takes a place of this. And it just uh, gives you all of your notifications and stuff like that. It's just it's just really, really neat. You just have to pull up a video of it, you know, of the Pro or the Ultimate to see it. It's, it's bad. Uh, but, the, uh, but, but the standard model here is not without its own upgrades on the rear, you know, with the all-new RGB lighting right there. Best in the game. But um, this phone is just blazing fast um don't mind the uh me swiping up i have tested the in display fingerprint sensor and the face unlock ultra fast fingerprint sensor i mean they're both crazy fast they really are they they're crazy fast um the uh the in display fingerprint sensor i would have to say is just as fast if not faster than the galaxy s21 um for the fingerprint sensor the uh the face unlock um I would say it's on par, maybe a little bit slower than all of the Xiaomi phones I've tested, with the exception of the uh, the Redmi Note 10 Pro. That was noticeable. The face unlock on that was noticeably slower than your higher end flagship Xiaomi phones like the Redmi K40 that I just had on my channel. But you're also comparing a Snapdragon 870 with a Snapdragon 732G. So you know that plays a big part in it. Kind of like what I was talking about in another video. Uh, of that of the Redmi Note 10 Pro about how the processor plays a big role and how well the camera lenses actually work. You can have the top of the line camera sensors, but what good what good are they if you don't have a top of uh, you know a, a top of the line processor? See, uh, that, that's kind of the same with in display fingerprint sensors. They do rely on processing power, so keep that in mind. This rock on the Snapdragon 888, you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Uh, the face unlock again, it does feel just as fast, um, you know, as, as the, uh, as the Redmi K40 did, uh, with the, uh, Snapdragon 870. And, and, and I think in that video, I said it was the fastest I've ever experienced. This is, this is, you know, just as fast, if not faster as it should be. This features the Snapdragon 888, not just the 870, but the 888, um, this is a gaming powerhouse. I mean, you know, 12 gigs of RAM is more than enough. Um, it, it, it unfortunately doesn't have expandable memory. Um, and I did only get the 128 gig ver uh, a storage version. Uh, but it is UFS 3.1, um, as you'd expect nowadays, you know, from flagships. But, um, I mean, it just charges brilliantly fast. Um, I, I, don't, I don't get a lot of overheating on this phone whatsoever. The benchmarks are crazy high. Um... I've just um, I, I've, I've I've just been digging this phone. Excuse the military time that I, I didn't set the time to the to to you know to to the twelve hour format instead of the twenty four hour format. But um, you know, uh, very very stockish Android. And you can choose too. You have a gaming aesthetic theme, uh, and then you have you know you know, and then you have the, uh, the 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 stock Android theme, and you can choose. See, at one time with the Rock Phone two and the one, I think actually I don't think I had the one, but the two. You you had to choose upon setting up the phone, and you couldn't go back unless you had unless you reset it the whole phone. But of course, that's not the case any longer. Y'all probably don't even remember that or even know what I'm even talking about. But uh, nonetheless, um, you know, fantastic phone. Let me let you see the um, the uh, the settings up here. Um, and good news because I know I know a lot of y'all probably waiting for my band talk, and it's been taking me long enough. This works on 5G with AT&T. I put my AT&T SIM card in this thing, and it got 5G in a matter of five seconds, just like my Redmi K40 did. It does not even have AT&T Band N5 listed for 5G, but it works. It does have T-Mobile's mid-band, as a lot of these foreign phones do have, because, again, this is not the U.S. model. It'll come out in the U.S. Asus always brings these to the U.S., but it's months after they're already out overseas. This is the Chinese variant. 
Uh, but uh, 5G on AT&T worked flawlessly. I mean, I, I put my SIM card in and it almost connected instantaneously. And I didn't have to change any setting whatsoever like I had to do with Motorola and OnePlus phones. Um, and sadly, with OnePlus, you got to do that with their U.S. phones just to get them to work on AT&T. I don't know if it's some kind of licensing with T-Mobile. Now, of course, I don't know about the 9 series. I don't have any OnePlus 9. Um, I probably won't get them. Not really as interested in them anymore, uh, to be honest. But, um, you know, that may change. But anyways, um, you all hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I'm um, happy to announce that I am at 1,000 subscribers now. I think I'm at 1,044. Um, so I want to appreciate everybody that, everybody that helped me do that. Somebody left a comment on one of my videos. I forgot which one that said that, that mentioned how, how I am comically undersubscribed. And I really appreciated that, uh, comment. I would have to pull up his name. I, uh, I, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, I need to, uh, go and respond to it. I think it was someone that said that on my LG K92 5G video. I'm not entirely sure, but I appreciate that nonetheless. Huge shout out to everybody. But, um, oh, yeah, y'all, one more thing. Gotta show this box. This box is freaking amazing. Check that out. Bam! And this has a feature when you set it up. When, when you, you know, when, you, when you're going through the motion of setting up the phone for the first time, and it has an, it has an AR feature. A, uh, an AR setup with music and stuff. And uh, you aim it at that. And y'all, do not skip it. If you get this phone, do not skip it. It is freaking sick. Freaking sick. But uh, yeah, Aces' presentation on this phone was just top notch. I mean, it, it can't be beaten. Um, yeah, definitely one of the best presentations. Uh, the, the fastest phone I've, I've used, you know, yet. Uh, I've seen, uh, you know, official benchmarks have came up that actually show it below the Red Magic 6. Um, Red Magic always wins those benchmarks, but Black Shark actually is ahead of the uh, the Red Magic because um, its phones are actually powered by a solid state drive, which I thought was very interesting. I wasn't interested in that phone until I saw that. Uh, but nonetheless, I've also heard that people are having problems getting Google Play to, to work on the Black Shark 4. So I'm skipping it for now. But uh, anyways, hit me up in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, this phone is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know what, too, y'all? Speaking of which, speaking of which, because I know I never go over camera specs like everyone does. Um, box, the back of it actually has some of it. It is a, uh, the front facing camera is a 24 megapixel, which is really good because a lot of these are only 16, which is good, good as well. <laughs> but, uh, it's a 24 in the front. Um, the screen is, is a 6.78 inch. So, of course, I always round up like with Xiaomi phones because they always have 6.67. So I always say 6.7. This is a 6.78. So I'm going to say 6.8. Um, and, of course, these used to be 6.6, .6, like 6.55 or something like that. But um, the main shooter in the back is a 64 megapixel, and it does have an ultra-wide 13 megapixel. Then the other lens is a 5 megapixel. But uh, it's the same as what the uh, is what the, what the Rock Phone 3 had last year. Uh, but they do take really, really decent shots. I mean, you know, you don't, you don't always get a gaming phone expecting a great camera. But then again, I you know at the price that a lot of them do go for, especially when they're when they are over a thousand bucks, I I I wouldn't blame if you did expect really good cameras. I mean, yeah, I mean you know for that money you're getting all these cool game game aesthetics, but it's still a phone at the end of the day, and people do like really good cameras on their phones, you know. So you know, especially at that price point. So you know, um, I, I it is what it is. I I, I could see that. Uh, but this phone as it sits for 750 now 700 if not less um takes great shots actually actually and there's reviews of this phone that will actually tell you that and they use and they use that terminology because they're surprised that it does take as good a shots as it does um because that's definitely the area where your red magic phones they flaw they fall flat they take horrible pictures compared to your rock phones but uh, Rock, Aces did something with the software because these are the same lenses as the Rock Phone 3. But people say, and, and, and they didn't hate those pictures either last year, but they said that this one's, the picture quality is even better. So, um, you know, I haven't really taken it through its paces in that regard. 
But uh, figured it was, you know, a good mention here. But um, again, you do get full LTE support on AT&T and T-Mobile. I do want to get that out. I think it's still missing band. Well, actually, it doesn't have band 71 listed, but you may still get it. But it does have band 66 for what that's worth. Um, two and four. Obviously, N5 for 5G on AT&T. N41 for the mid band. Uh, and it may have the, the the other 5G bands for T-Mobile as well. Again, N66, N71, which of course, when I mentioned it was the first time I was talking about LTE, but they're not, you know, that just because it has, you know, just because it has band 66 doesn't mean it has band N66. That's that's the point I have to make. Um, but anyways, y'all hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all. 1,000 subscribers. And uh, hit me up in the comments. And uh, man, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.